Do you feel anything there? What do you feel there? That was an incredible moment, an absolutely incredible moment. It's like a movie. The surgery, nearly 15 hours long and groundbreaking. That first moment when we turned everything on and Keith was able to just think about moving his hand uh, and feeling his fingers, which he had not done in three years, um, that was an incredible moment, an absolutely incredible moment. Good job, Keith. This is the first time that a paralyzed person has had their brain uh, rewired in essence to restore both movement and the sense of touch. Three years ago, life changed forever for Massapequa's Keith Thomas. July 18th, 2020, left my apartment in Manhattan and went out east for the weekend and um, dove into a pool and dove into the wrong end of the pool. And I broke my neck. Well, I remember was like trying to put my hands in front of my face, like when I was diving in and just blacked out. The diving accident left Keith paralyzed from the chest down. And while he was trying to comprehend what his new life would be. <laughs> the next day I couldn't even move. Northwell Health engineer Chad Bowden was thinking of something else. My colleague, uh, Dr. Adam Stein, uh, introduced us to Keith, and when I first met him, I thought uh, this absolutely could be our guy for the study. The study, thought-driven therapy, and the result is this. I feel it on the wrist, which I think the right top part. Oh, good. What closer to the scene? Good. So I'm just using a feather to touch the sensor, oh, okay. and you're still able to feel it. What made all of this possible is a first-of-its-kind clinical trial developed by researchers at the Feinstein Institutes for Medical Research. Simply put, they used AI and brain implants to read Keith's mind. These chips are accessed through ports that are literally screwed into the skull, uh, and we can connect uh, Keith's brain to the computer, and we can read and write, in essence, uh, in and out of Keith's brain. Doctors surgically implanted five tiny computer chips into Keith's brain. During parts of his surgery, Keith was actually awake. As surgeons probed the surface of his brain, he gave them feedback in real time. I placed it right over one area and he said, I feel my thumb. I said, what part of your thumb? He said, my thumb tip, the inside of my thumb tip. And I said, oh, we found it, we got it. Those chips now decode and translate Keith's thoughts into action. To see me thinking about something and it happening on screen, I was like, wow. Squeeze, pull, nice, go, 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 excellent. Remarkably, Keith is now able to move his arms and hands again and can actually feel his sister's touch. <laughs> to see an actual person, like a family member, touch you and feel them is different. Bowden says a long-term goal is for Keith to move his hands and regain feeling with no machine attached. He has already seen some natural recovery from his injuries, relinking his brain and body. An amazing sign for Keith and potentially many others. Yep, squeeze right there. Right here. You feel that? I think what I'm doing right now is more bigger than what more bigger than me, I think it's going to help a lot of people. You're getting almost to the mouth, and then how about the left side? You're getting all the way to your mouth. Yeah. You're, touch, you're touching your chin? It's fresh my chin. Wow, okay. 